So today we're going to be reacting to another crowd, Filipino crowd video, you know, because Filipino crowds are the best in the world, hands down, all right? The title of this video includes Marielle Montiano, okay? So she is the winner of uh, Tawang ng Tanghalan duets, uh, if uh, my memory serves me correctly, and she's a wonderful singer. So I have no idea what she's doing in this video. We will be figuring that out together. And it also says Davao City. Uh, sa wakas may nakipagduet din sa kanya. So I did the translation of that and Google Translate says finally someone did a duet with him. So does that mean that Mariel Montellano is going to do a duet with somebody? So that's a little bit confusing because you guys told me that this was like uh, a video about Filipino crowds. So I guess we will see what's going on together. With that being said, maligayang pagbabalik sa akin channel. Ako po si Ovela. I'm a sound engineer, beat maker, and content creator on YouTube. And now let's jump right into this reaction video. Let's go. This is why the first few seconds of this video explains everything. Okay, so this is taking place at a basketball game. So this crowd is there not to watch a concert, but to actually watch a basketball game. And I'm assuming that Mariel Montellano is there uh, performing during the halftime uh, break, you know, of the game. Uh, so it says North North Ball Basketball League. Okay, so I just saw a woman that was singing, approaching the crowd and giving the microphone to one of the people watching the game. And the dude can freaking sing. And he did not hesitate one second. And to be honest, I did not recognize Mariel Montiano because the video is very tiny. It's on TikTok. It's a little blurry. Uh, but this is crazy. This is crazy and fantastic because so far I've seen and I've reacted to Filipino crowds during very various events, right? And they sing and they're very lively and they're very happy and it's, it's incredible to uh, to see and I wish I could actually experience that in the Philippines. Now that I'm talking about this, I told you guys that I was trying to go to SB19 uh, concert in May and I kid you not, I was sent the right link uh, on uh, the website called onlineticket.net, I think, I'm not sure, or .com. So I was waiting for like the countdown, you know, there was a countdown so that I can actually press on a button and purchase my ticket. I swear to God, I was there on time. You know, as soon as the countdown was done, I just clicked on buying ticket or buy ticket and nothing happened. Legit, there was nothing to be done on the website. It, it was as if it wasn't functional. And I refreshed and tried and refreshed for like, half an hour to 45 minutes in vain. I could not purchase my ticket and I'm really sad about it because you guys contacted me and told me that it was already sold out, but perhaps they will extend the concert. So I went on the website, uh, put in my, uh, my email so that they could contact me if ever they decide to extend the, the concert so that I can purchase my ticket, man. This is ridiculous. And on my end, I was thinking maybe, you know, you can only buy the tickets when you're in the Philippines. Like the website is only functional in the Philippines, which doesn't really make sense to me, but whatever. And I was also told that perhaps most of the tickets or all the tickets were bought uh, 
personally, in person, you know, like I was told that people were in line uh, in real life to buy the tickets. So I'm really pissed, man. So even if I don't go to the SB19 concert, I, I hope I will get the opportunity to attend some type of event with Filipino crowds, you know, whether it be a basketball game or, uh, you know, a, a singing uh, show slash performance, you know, we will see, we will see. Uh, yeah, let's continue. <laughs> he is hyped. And he can push it. He can push his voice, man. He is a belter. And Mariel seems so excited. <laughs> why is everybody laughing? I saw him like imitate the music. Is that why people are laughing? What did she say? Oh. Can you hear Maria's voice? She sounds a lot clearer than him, man. I think the, the microphone that she gave him is not uh, well calibrated the way hers is, you know? Because she's the actual performer of the day, not him. But this was awesome and I hope, I hope he's still gonna sing because the video is not done yet. Okay, now I recognize her. No, is he gonna join her? Woo! <laughs> you go, boy! I love this guy. Man, he is not shy at all at all like he is into it i mean he's looking at her he's pointing at her you know yeah <laughs> is that a referee no that's not a referee is it Wow, she can sing. <laughs> He's doing his best. Man, you know, I react to a lot of Filipino singers and most of them are at the top of the food chain, meaning that they are great, okay? So I only compare them to each other. So comparing great to great or greater, at some point you start taking them for granted. And I feel like a lot of Filipinos take their singers for granted. See, in this video, I am listening to an amazing singer, Marian Montellano, and I'm listening to some guy, just a random dude, you know, singing and trying his best, his best. You know, he's not horrible, but obviously he's not as good as Marian Montellano. So because of this contrast, you just realize all over again how good here Marian Montellano is, right? But also how the best Filipino singers are, man. So freaking good. What what is he saying? I wish I could understand. Is he changing the lyrics? Yo, is this a thing? 
at every like uh, official basketball game in the Philippines, there is like a, a really good performer. Because if that's the case, I'm definitely gonna go watch a basketball game if there are any that are happening during the month of May. Like seriously. He was such a good sport. There you go, the video ends there and the dude was such a good sport, it's unbelievable how he reacted, you know, that he was so engaged and really belted his heart out and he has a little bit of, uh, of a raspiness to his voice and I felt like people were laughing because he made it funny. He was doing something, I'm not sure what he was doing, but probably was changing the lyrics at some point. So, if you would please uh, let me know in the comment section below why everybody was laughing and uh, what they said towards the end. This was so much fun. Again, another proof, uh, not only that Filipino crowds are the best in the world and that they can sing, uh, but also that Filipinos just in general are the best singers in the world because what are the chances and the probabilities to that you know you would give just a microphone to a random filipino person in a crowd and they can actually sing and hold a note <sighs> you know you do this in in any other country perhaps uh, you know the chances that you would the chances are the person is gonna suck balls you know it's gonna be terrible like for sure so yeah now it is your turn uh to let me know in the comment section below your thoughts on this video this is what i do on this channel okay i just react to content that you guys send me to content that i want to react to that i love sometimes i do ramble on you know but yeah i love talking about music and uh yeah if you enjoy music as much as i do uh, you know, dropping a like would help me out a lot. And uh, maraming maraming salamat po! And of course, if you found value in this video, do not hesitate to check out my other reaction videos right here.